at this, guys. Let's go live. I never got a chance to go live yesterday. It was, it's a Monday. Yesterday was a Monday. It was a crazy, hectic Monday. So I want to answer your questions that you guys asked yesterday, and then I'll go live again today. So let's just get started. I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes, founder of alexandraharbushka.com, founder of Secret Society Wellness, uh, our products that are um, designed to support people with herpes outbreaks. Lots of fun stuff. So let me go, let me get started on the questions you guys all asked. We have, oh, we have a lot. Let's see if we can get, um, let's see if we can get through them. Um, is it possible to get initial out, is it, to, is it possible to only get initial outbreaks and that's been it? It's been three months. Yeah, most people are actually asymptomatic for herpes, um, meaning they get really mild symptoms or no symptoms or all, at all, or they get symptoms, you know, very, very rarely. For example, I have HSV-1. I've had it for 17 years, 18 years, 18 years. My second oral outbreak was 14 years later. So really not that uh, often. And um, yeah, so it's very possible just to have one outbreak and nothing at all. Sorry, I'm outside and I was like, what is that noise? Um, oh, it's my little boy. If you go on a trip on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, do you take antiviral on Thursday to prevent an outbreak? Yeah, I would take it before I'd take off or before I would fly out. Um, for me personally, it just makes sure that I don't get outbreaks. So for example, on Thursday, I'm leaving to go out of town. So probably Wednesday night before I go to bed, I'll take the antiviral and I'll also probably take an antiviral on Thursday because it's a hard day, it's a travel day. And um, that is what I'll do to protect myself. I'll show you my little boy when he comes around. Um, I'm dating a partner. Here he is. There he is. <laughs> See? on Instagram? Hi. Hi, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I just realized, guys, I forgot to put my headset in. Okay, so you're dating your partner for seven months now and plan to get married next year. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Um, okay. Is it possible to be infected before and not know? I'm confused on how not getting general herpes just now after seven months dating. Okay, so yes, it is possible to have the virus and have it lay dormant in your system. It's possible to lay dormant for months, years. Um, your partner may not even know that he has it. Um, so it, it is very possible. The most common... Uh, First symptoms are the most common. Most people come down with symptoms within within four, 14 days, like two weeks of being diagnosed with herpes or of coming into contact with herpes. That is the most common. However, yeah, it is possible to have been infected for a long time and never had your first outbreak. So um, yeah, it is possible. Uh, let me keep going. Guys, the sun feels so nice. You have no idea. Two days ago, I was diagnosed with genital herpes and feel like my life is falling apart. I completely understand. I think everybody here understands. Everybody here totally understands what you're going through. Um, these feelings are normal because of the stigma, not because of the actual virus. Like this is not a death sentence. This is not, you have, you know, 60 days left to live. This is not, you're gonna lose an arm or a leg or a foot or a finger or whatever. Um, this is, you get a rash that is annoying every now and then. This is, I now have to be responsible with my sexual health. I have to be responsible with talking to my partners about it. Um, and I think once we can detach ourselves from the stigma of it and realize it's just an annoying rash, it's not, it, it, it's not as um, piercing of a diagnosis. 
But um, the best thing I would do if you were just diagnosed, um, and I know like you're probably like, how I can't get there, how am I there yet? I would surround yourself with people that are like-minded, um, that know what you're going through. There's a lot of online communities um, that have now popped up since I started mine. I also have one, of course, I think mine's the best. I love mine, but there's a lot of online communities that you can find support or find like-minded people. And I, re- I really recommend doing that. Surround yourself with your, your kin. Will I ever be happy and in love again? How do you tell people you have HSV too? Yeah, back to kind of what I was saying. Yes, it does happen. It's a matter of you accepting it and being okay with it. Uh, that takes time. It took me two years. I don't want it to take you two years. Um, the people that are in the secret society, um, they have a much better, they have a much better recovery rate or getting, you know, getting back out there or dating. Last night on our, our call, we had two successful disclosures and they're successfully dating. So we've had a lot of great stuff going on. Um, what is the transmitting from woman to man with condom? Do, uh, do you reduce by 30 or of four? Okay. So, um, statistics change, information changes, but if you are a woman with genital herpes, do not have an outbreak or not using a condom and are not on the antiviral and have sex with a man, you have a 4% chance of transmitting herpes. If you are same situation, but a man having sex with a woman, so no condom, no antiviral, no outbreak, you have a 10% chance of transmitting herpes. So women, we just, for whatever reason, are more susceptible to having herpes. I think it's kind of our anatomy. I also think it's because we shave and do all that stuff. But um, yeah, so that, that's what it is. Diagnose in, on December 20th, uh, on December 20, on antiviral since February, still have blisters, especially after periods. That's really common um, during your period to, or somewhere in the cycle to get outbreaks. Um, if you're on the antivirals daily, let's see, are you taking lysine? That's a big one. Um, it's a essential amino acid, it's a protein that can help. Uh, it, it makes it a hostile environment for the herpes virus just to live in. The herpes virus does not like lysine, so it's a supplement you can take. That might be helpful. Also, um, potentially taking some Epsom salt baths, that also might be helpful. Hi, Alexandra, I was tested positive for HSV2 with an index level of 12 in January, but I've never had a breakout. Um, It means that, uh, based on those numbers, it means that you have herpes. Um, It means that it's dormant in your system or or it's in your system, You're, you're asymptomatic. So uh, if you've never had an outbreak, you're asymptomatic, which is awesome, which means that your, your body's doing a great job of keeping you from getting outbreaks. That's awesome. It's great news. I mean, not great news that you have herpes, but it's great news that your body's keeping the antiviral or your body dormant. Um, for couples with one diagnosed partner, what will our sex life be like? I think it will be completely normal. It'll be whatever you want it to be. Um, mine is completely normal there's nothing weird about it yeah there's times i can't have sex because i have an outbreak but there's also times i can't have sex because or i don't want to have sex right or same with my husband like there, it's just normal um if if you know it's been a while or outbreak after outbreak my husband and i get creative but um you know it's it's normal normal totally normal uh, 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 can you acquire HSV-1 orally if you already have it genitally? If you already have HSV-1 orally or wherever you have it on your body, it's it's pretty impossible to reinfect yourself with the same virus. The only way you would have it in multiple locations is if you infected yourself before you had the antibodies. So if you have it orally, you're probably not going to get it genitally. Did you contact your exes after your diagnosis? I did. I went back um, pretty far. I went back a couple years. Uh, people I dated because I knew the virus could be dormant in my system. We actually talked about this yesterday on our support group call um, within the secret society. Yeah, I definitely went back and I believe that by telling them and by having the conversation with them, it would hopefully prevent a transmission to somebody else. So hopefully I'd protect somebody in the future, whether they knew or didn't know, but it would maybe prompt them to get tested or prompt them to be a little bit more careful um, and just protect someone in the future. 
I'm getting to know someone long distance, but I don't know the right time to tell them you have HSV2. Um, regardless of long distance or not, um, it just is a matter of when you're ready to go to that level in your relationship. Are you ready to become more intimate? Are you ready to become exclusively dating? Um, having herpes forces that conversation, absolutely. Um, a lot of times these are conversations like we don't normally have. We may not want to know the answer, but it definitely forces a conversation. Um, but it's whenever you're ready, whenever you are ready to have that part of your relationship. If you believe it's getting a little bit more exclusive, if you're getting you know, a little bit more hot and heavy, then that's something that you'll probably wanna share. But if it's just you know, long distance here and there or forget long distance, you're just going for yoga every Saturday and that's it, um, or you're just going to movies, which I don't know if the movie theaters are opening, but you know what I mean. If you're just out and about, um, you'll know when a relationship gets to that level. Will you have more kids? I don't plan on it. I don't plan on it. So that's not that's not where we are right now. We're just enjoying our little boy. We love him. Is it possible to have one outbreak a year after the first one? Yeah, one out. That's great. If your body's just doing one outbreak a year, that's great. Some people are like, I just get it every six months. So I know I'm gonna get it every six months. Some people are like, I know I'm gonna get it every year. I always get it around this time, or I do this activity and it triggers it. Um, wash your hands daily, preventing herpes virus spreading to others. Yes. Um, washing your hands after you touch the outbreak is also really important. Um, just washing your hands in general. That's something that we need to do more of. My hands are like super chapped because I am always washing my hands. Can I have your first outbreak and never get another? Yes, which is awesome if that's your situation because a lot of people get outbreaks after outbreaks after outbreaks. Um, is oral sex okay if my partner knows the risk to accept it? Is it going to have outbreaks in this, in the throat? Um, it doesn't typically like that area. It typically likes the, like the, the lips. Um, oral sex is completely fine. It's just like vaginal or anal sex. It's a matter of you and your partner being on the same page. Um, there is a potential risk of transmission, but, and that's, you know, a conversation that you guys have and, um, discuss. So... Uh, okay, why is this not, I don't want to wait. I want to wave. I don't want to comment. Okay. Do you think it's the right time to tell, when do you think it's the right time to tell a new partner? Um, I think I discussed that a little bit. It's really when you are ready to take your relationship to the next level. It's when, like, just because you're going on a date doesn't mean you need to tell a person. Um, just because you're, um, you know, going to go out to dinner doesn't mean you need to tell them. It's when the relationship starts to get to a next level. I have someone in our group, she's, she waits for them to tell her something vulnerable and um, then she opens up about having herpes. So um, do you get more outbreaks with type 2 than you would with type 1 to have on my genitals? Yeah, most statistically, most people with type 2 get more outbreaks than people with type 1. I don't really know why. It might be the placebo effect. It might be, who, who knows? But yeah, typically people with HSV2 get more outbreaks. I do. Um, I have more genital outbreaks than oral outbreaks. If I take Valtax daily, what is the transmission from female to male with without a condom? Um, I don't know if female to male or male to female, but if you take the antiviral, it lessens the transmission rate by 48%. Um, if you do not have an outbreak and... So when, when I gave birth, I did not have an outbreak. I was on the antiviral and I had a less than 1% chance of transmitting herpes to Clinton. So I took that risk. Okay, guys, um, I'll be going live again today later. I just wanted to get through those questions that you all asked me yesterday and I apologize that I didn't get a chance to go live. Hope you have a great Tuesday. I'll see you soon and uh, ask your questions for the next one. All right.